Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 47 of Isolate, Meditate, Create. Uh, my name is Jessica Lynn Johnson. I'm the founder and CEO of Soaring Solo. And Soaring Solo is a company that's dedicated to the direction and development of one person plays. Um, so thank you for joining me for this experience. Um, this is going to be happening every day during quarantine, during stay at home, uh, with the purpose of connecting us to each other and to our own sense of creativity. Um, so please make sure you have something nearby you uh, to write with and, and write on because we're gonna hop into writing as soon as we're done meditating. And please find a comfortable seated position. And if your camera is on, please be aware that we can see you. So, you know, don't do anything you don't want everybody to see if your camera's on. Um, and with that said, just go ahead and close your eyes, get comfortable, and just start to focus on your breath. Just start to let everything slow way down. And imagine that your breath is a warm light that is filling every inch of your body. And notice any thoughts that might be racing around in your mind or even casually passing through. Notice them, but just let them continue on on their way. Try not to attach to any of the thoughts. Try to let your mind become a blank canvas. And take a body scan from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Notice where you might be carrying any discomfort or you might be in pain, or you might be clenching your muscles. And just breathe deeply into those places. And just continue to further relax and release. Allow your shoulders to drop down, your facial muscles to relax and release, your hands to be open and relaxed, gently placed beside you or on your lap. And just feel the support of the chair or the ground or the bed beneath you. Feel the support of everyone on this Zoom call. Feel my support and your creativity. And feel your own sense of support as you take this time for yourself, for your self-care and for your self-expression. And imagine that with each breath in, you are drawing into yourself everything that you need to fill your cup, everything that serves you. Breathing in optimism and faith and hope and love and joy and abundance and gratitude and kindness and laughter, whatever it is that you need to breathe in and draw into your life. Just Imagine breathing all of that in on your in-breath. And imagining on your out-breath, releasing out of your system those things that block you, those things that do not serve you, 
releasing those things on your out breath. Exhaling pessimism, judgment, scarcity, cruelty, bitterness, fear, paranoia, whatever it is that you need to release, release those things on your out breath. Allowing your breath to reflect a cycle of breathing in those things that serve you and releasing those things that do not. And allow your breath to start to transform so that on your out breath, now you have the ability to give back on your out breath. So your out breath represents what you can give back to the world, whatever generosity, whatever kindness, whatever sense of patience or abundance, humor, love, light, whatever it is that you have to give, let your out breath reflect giving back to the world. So we're breathing in those things that serve us and fill our cup and on our out breath, we're returning to the world, whatever it is that we have to give. I'm just continuing in this cycle of breath for a couple more moments, giving and receiving, giving and receiving. And in this next moment, I'm gonna guide you through visualization. And I just ask that you go on this journey and try not to control it or make sense of it or censor it in any way. Allow yourself to be very free in your thinking, knowing that you never have to share what comes up for you unless you choose to. So be very uncensored in this journey. I want you to call to mind a father figure. It can actually be your father, your dad, or stepdad, or anyone who represents a father figure in your life. Let that person come to your mind right now. And this can be someone who is living or someone who has passed on. And what feelings come up for you when you recall this person? When you think of them, does it bring you joy or sadness, resentment, anger, love? What, are, what feelings come up for you as you picture your relationship to this person? Acknowledge your feelings and hold space for those. And what has been the nature of this relationship? Has it been nurturing and supportive? Has it been a roller coaster ride? Has it been distant and hard? What was the nature of the dynamic of this relationship between you and this father figure?
and it's okay if it changed. Just recall the nature of it. And what are some impactful moments that come up for you when you recall this person? What were some impactful moments with this person? You can focus on one or if several come into your mind, you can look at all of these different memories, but just examine some impactful moments. And these can be good or bad, happy or sad, just whatever impacted you with this person. Take a moment to recall those memories. And how would you say this person, this father figure has influenced you or changed or transformed you? Either by their presence or their absence. How have they influenced, changed or transformed you in the course of your relationship? And imagine if this person was standing right in front of you. What would you want to say to them in this moment? Is there anything you'd like to express to them in this moment? Just take another moment to reflect on this, to gather any insights, to examine any feelings, to recall any memories. Just be in this for another moment. And taking another deep breath in. <sighs> and on our exhale, releasing that, coming back to this present moment and opening our eyes. And um, go ahead and reach for whatever it is that you have to write with um, and write on. And I'm gonna set my timer for eight minutes. And please just write about whatever came up for you. You could um, write from the perspective of the father figure and give them a character monologue. 
Um, you could write from your own perspective as a narrator or first person monologue. Um, you could personify an object uh, that was in the room of one of the memories and tell the story from that way or do a multiple character scene with you and this father figure. Um, you could write poetry or song lyrics. Uh, there's no way to mess this up. Just write freely. I'll let you know when your eight minutes is up. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. You have about four and a half minutes left, four and a half minutes.
I'm just under a minute left, just under a minute. Okay, please wrap up your writing. And in the chat, I put um, several announcements. So feel free to hop on the chat and see um, if any of those are exciting to you or if you have any questions about any of them, I'll just briefly uh, lead you through them um, in a moment. But first, um, with everything that you've written, if you haven't transcribed it yet into a document, I would strongly advise that you do so just to keep it in a safe space. And if you've been doing this experience, the Isolate, Meditate, Create for the last, what, 47 days, um, you should have a really nice amount of writing at this point. So, you know, really um, treat that as the precious entity that it is and um, save it somewhere. And I would also encourage you to read through it and just look for any themes that unify these pieces together. And even if you've already written a solo show, this might be a great second show, or maybe it's a book that goes alongside the show, who knows? Um, who knows what it could be, but just explore your writing. Um, <clears throat> And also, um, if you want to share this experience with anyone else, please always feel free to share this, this Zoom link with anyone you think might benefit from this. And I also, in the chat, put the YouTube channel where all of the replays are available. So every single day of this experience is available on my YouTube channel, Jessica Lynn Johnson, Soaring Solo Artist on YouTube. And um, so that link is in the chat as well. Um, and then as far as announcements go, so today in about an hour, um, I'm going to be hosting the fifth installment of the Soaring Solo Spotlight series, which is a webinar series where I invite different solo artists to co-host with me to teach a specific lesson. And <clears throat> today I'll be co-hosting with T.L. Forsberg. And T.L. is known as the deaf Lady Gaga. She's a, phenom a phenomenal singer-songwriter. Uh, she's a critically acclaimed and award-winning solo artist. And she practically just started being a solo artist and has already done so well. Um, but she's been a singer songwriter professionally in the deaf community for a very long time. So she's, she's quite well known and, um, um, and we're going to really be focusing on edutainment and touring and how to make money with your solo show. Um, I toured as a solo artist for over a decade with two of my shows and that's how I made my living um, specifically in the college university market. Um, and TL has also toured as a singer songwriter in the deaf community and, and also in many deaf um, and diversity um, events. So we're just going to speak uh, about how to how to get yourself into that market and um, to write a meaningful piece of edutainment, something that educates and entertains at the same time. Um, so that's today, 10.30 to 12.30 at Pacific Time. You can email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com um, to sign up for that or inquire about it. Um, it is a $30 suggested donation, but if you can't swing that, just let me know what, what you can afford to, to donate and um, and we'll work it out, no worries. Um, and then next, I'm gonna be hosting an open mic specifically for solo artists. Um, I did that before in person um, back at the Lounge Theater back in February and it, it was great. It was such a wonderful event. And so even though we're in the circumstances we're in now, I wanted to bring it back on Zoom. So we're gonna be doing the open mic, the Soaring Solo Snacks event on May 15th at 6 p.m. Pacific time on Zoom. Um, and so if you wanna share anything that you've written in the Isolate, Meditate, Create experience or anything solo theater related, um, that would be the forum to do it. It's gonna be a great turnout. Uh, lots of supportive people. You do not have to be memorized. Um, you can read from your paper if you'd like, or you can be memorized. It's whatever you want to get out of it. You get to share up to six minutes if you're selected, and it'll be first come, first serve, um, in addition to some specifically curated solo artists that I will invite to have been a part of this. 
Um, and so the donation for that is $5. Just email me at soaringsoloartist at gmail.com. And then my free class is coming up in May as well. I have May 16th and May 30th on the calendar. So it's 100% free. It's a deep dive into um, solo theater and how to create a one person play. That's at 10 a.m. Pacific time on both the 16th and 30th. So while it is free, um, I do require an RSVP. So you have to go to my website, jessicalynnjohnson.com and sign up under the, the free stuff tab for that. Um, and then, yeah, if you wanted to work with me in a more professional capacity, um, please always feel free to email me about an initial consultation or my small group coaching sessions or power pairs and just kind of find out what the different offerings are and see if anything would be of service to you. No pressure with that, but um, just making sure you know that's available. Um, and again, soaringsoloartist at gmail.com. And uh, that's it. So we'll be back here um, tomorrow same time same place and again if you missed any of these please go to my youtube channel and feel free to catch up um i think that's it thank you so much everyone for joining me and have a beautiful beautiful saturday <laughs>